once I've created my Google Classroom, I can design that however I like. So I'm going to click where it says using Google Classroom right here, and then I can change my theme and add co-teachers and that sort of thing. So here's the way this works. I'm going to click select theme. I can also upload a photo if I want to, um, but your photos do have to be a particular size. So I'm going to skip that because I don't have one that would work there. I'm just going to click select theme. And then here are the ones that are already banner size and I can just click and add. I usually do find one that I like in here. And so I am just going to choose this one for no reason, just because. And you can scroll down and look at the rest if I want here. One thing I have noticed about Google Classroom is let's say that you created a Google Classroom called Chemistry. Whenever you open your theme, Google has thought, okay, this is a classroom called Chemistry, and we have some themes that are similar to that, and so it will try to match them. Most of mine, whenever I go there, are training kinds of courses, so they usually have that generic uh, background where it has rows of seats and that sort of thing. But this is how I change it. It's already taken place. And you can see right here that my classroom is empty. There is nothing in there right over here. It tells me that there is no work due at all. And that tells me that my students can join the class with this code. If I go over here to about, let's say that I want to invite a co-teacher. So again, this co-teacher needs to be on the same domain as me. I cannot add a teacher from a that I know from another district or anything like that. And the way that I would do this is just click invite teacher and then I would type in the teacher's email address right here and then it's going to bring up a list where it says no contacts found. So let's say that I want to invite this teacher in. I'm going to search. If she is the one, I'm going to click there and then hit next and it will attach her as a co-teacher for me. Now you see right here where it says Google Drive folder, this is an automatic, whenever I create a Google Classroom, it's automatically going to create a folder in my Google Drive that has the same name as this classroom. That is a management feature. So that exists now, and if I were to go into my Drive, you would see that. This is my classroom folder, again, was automatically created. And here is my using Google Classroom folder. Right now, there's nothing in it because I haven't assigned anything. So I'm going to go back in here. One thing that I like to do is provide resources on this About page. So I'm going to type in Resources and I'm just going to hit save. Okay, now whenever it says add materials, let's say that there are links that my students go to all the time. So for example, if I have a symbol of links that I want my kids to go to, then I could add that here. If I use things like Kahoot or whatever it might be, I like to put those all right here. So I'm going to call this one links. And this is just my preference. And I'm going to then attach links to it. So if I go to kahoot.it, this is the link that my students would need. Just make things a little bit easier for them. I'm going to hit add. Let me add another one here. Um, let's say that we use Khan Academy a lot. So here's my URL. I'm going to highlight that and I'm just going to paste it in and hit add and then I'll hit post. So I can customize this to look however I like and then whenever my students log in they're going to have a really quick way to get to those. I am actually going to 
see if I can add one more. And did you notice what I did there? I saw this, I thought, oh gosh, I need another one. I'm gonna click on these three little dots, hit edit. Now I'm going to add another link. And this time I am going to add in a quizzes. And if that's for my students, then they need this one that has the join on it. Post that, hit add, save. And there it is. If I wanted to go back to the normal classroom view, I would just click on stream. And again, remember, we have not added anything in here, so I don't have anything for my students to do yet. But this is just the basic customize this so it looks the way that you want it to, and then go to about to add in any links and to invite co-teachers. You can access your Google Drive folder by clicking right there. It's going to open up Drive for me. And then I can also view my calendar right there. So remember to do this so that it works for you and for your students. You want it to be as easy as possible for all of you.